Before operating the machine, there are a few simple procedures that you need to do so that the machine will operate properly. With the machine door open, check the inside to ensure that the wash arms and rinse arms are installed properly. Check to see that all the scrap screens are properly installed. This is critical to keeping the machine clean. Reference the curtain labels on the outside of the machine to make sure that the curtains provided by Champion have also been properly installed. Once you are sure all of the components are back in place, the last thing to do is close the drain. The drain valve on this E-Series rack machine is located here at the bottom of the doorway. Simply close the valve to close the drain. The new E-Series machines will have a ball valve drain located at the bottom of each tank and those will need to be turned into the closed position before operation. Now that your screens, curtains, wash and rinse arms are back in place, close the door and you're ready to power the machine. Turn the machine on using the red rocker switch. The machine is now sitting idle. It's been on. The wash temperature is now up above 150 degrees. It's what you would wait on before you start operating it. Once it reaches the proper temperature, hit the start button. Nothing happens, but the machine is in operating mode. Once you hit the start button, the green indicator light will illuminate and you are ready to put soiled dishes into the machine. Simply push the rack of dishes into the machine until it starts the wash pump. The dishes will now convey through the machine. Now the rack has entered the final rinse area. The rinse pressure is now 20 PSI. That indicates that it is in the rinse mode. You can see the rack is exiting the machine. This single tank rack has a 90 second wash time. After 90 seconds, the conveyor and wash pump will stop. When the machine is in its wash cycle, raising the door will stop the machine. To restart the machine, close the door, press the start button, and load a new rack of dishes into the machine. To stop the machine during a wash cycle, press the stop button and that will shut the pumps and the drive conveyor off. To restart the machine, press the start button again and load another rack of dishes. Now it's setting idle, waiting for a new rack. Once we place a rack of dishes, the DR tank will not read until the final rinse is on. Then you get a reading of 165 and 180 to 195 on your final rinse. This is the outer pump start lever which is located on the front side of the machine on the load end. This will start the machine when a rack is placed inside the machine. Once the lever is pressed, it starts the wash pump timer, which starts the pumps and the conveyor, and the rack will convey through the machine until the timer times out, in which the pumps and conveyor will stop. This is the final rinse lever, which is located on the clean end of the machine, towards the front of the machine. This lever is activated by a rack as it conveys through the machine. When a rack hits the lever, it turns the final rinse on, gives you a 180 degree rinse. The rack will convey through the machine. When it passes by the lever, the final rinse will shut off. And the final rinse, fresh rinse arm, and the dual rinse arm both will shut off. And the wash pumps will shut off when the timer has timed out. We want to talk about the door activated drain, which you lift the lever up to drain the machine. That lifts the overflow up, allowing the machine to drain. To close the drain, push down the lever and that closes the overflow. If you forget to close the drain, by closing the door, you're actually closing the drain. This is showing the rack engaging the table limit switch. Once this happens, the machine will stop until you remove the rack. Then go back to the machine, hit the start button, and you're ready to go.